Congratulations, solidarity of the thousands, not hundreds, who turned out last night at Clapham Common in defiance of the state, police and cowardly, self-serving, self-promoting leadership of Reclaim These Streets. The police, despite making a few arrests, were back-footed the entire evening. They were overwhelmed by the unexpected numbers that materialised. It was made powerful by the fact it was entirely spontaneous. The people controlled the entire event, dispersing when they felt like it, oblivious to the impotent instructions of the police. Despite the anger being palpable, entirely justified, there w was, apart from overbearing police presence, no serious violence. But it was a victory, a psychological blow against the police, the government that had done everything within their power to prevent it. Whether it was a one-off or the start of something with connotations that go far beyond last night's evening event cannot be calculated one way or another. It has taken the murder of a woman, Sarah Everard, the charging of a police officer with the crime to bring people out onto the streets. And that is a tragedy in itself. However, the passive conformist atmosphere that has smothered the political social scene has finally been breached, just when many of us anarcho-malcontents were beginning to despair of this unending drift into an uncontested authoritarian state. People, or some of them anyway, cannot be so easily be brought off with weasel words from politicians, would be or otherwise. Again, well done to all those who were motivated enough to turn out at Clapham Common and elsewhere. Bye.